My name is Mark Forgeny. I am a former Merchant Navy deck officer who came back home to Trinidad and became a full-time farmer. I realized that I needed to make an input and change in my community of Maruga. I came back and showed my wider community or my friends and family that we can transform the Maruga hill rice industry from what was a chemical intensive, labor intensive operation to an organic system that is mechanically managed so that it is much easier for women and young people to participate. By doing this, we now make it easier for value-added products to enter the market and we now expand the opportunities all because we adopted good agricultural practices, manage our water and produce a high quality premium product. This is a change that I believe we can repeat in other communities in our lovely country. I came back home in 2002 from working all over the world, Middle East, Far East, South America and in 2006 my father had a stroke and his neurosurgeon said Mark get some of that Maruga Hill rice for your dad and when I came back from from north drove down the highway expecting just to run by uncle and get a few pounds of hill rice I was disappointed my uncle said he didn't have I went to all five of my uncles, nobody had. And they all said, Mark, you know, it's a labor. Nobody wants to go in the fields and sweat to plant hill rice. It's, so nobody's growing it anymore. And I was like, why? And when I started looking, even though I'd grown up doing it by hand and following my grandmother, when you get older, you realize, hey, this is actually very hard. And I thought, hey, you've seen peaches growing in the United Arab Emirates in desert. You've seen apples growing in, in Brazil and, and, and Bolivia. There must be a way. So when I started really looking at the technology, because I did both nautical science and a year of marine engineering, and I thought there must be a solution from my marine engineering background. And sure enough, what I realized, the problem for the harvesters was the metacentric height. These harvesters did not have the stability. Much like at sea when the ship is rolling, the lands in Maruga are platted lands. And the harvesters that were available were not designed for shifting metacentric heights. So I designed, came up with a concept that could cope with the metacentric height of the harvester shifting as it went down the land. Then I went to Export TT. Even during going to Export TT, I spoke to Namdevco. And Namdevco, when they heard the plans, were like, wow, this is a good idea. We're actually going to find a way to manage the harvest without chemicals, clean the rice as it comes out the field, and ensure that the sanitary conditions are maintained from the field into the mill and then onto the consumer. So we have good agricultural practices, we have hazard analysis and control points, and we have safe food being developed all in one system. Right, I am Shoba Marimutu. I am a field officer too in the Quality Assurance Department at NAMDEFGO, that is the National Agricultural Market and Development Corporation of Trinidad and Tobago. We deal with both marketing and agricultural development of fresh produce, and processed foods as well. I came into Maruga and I met with this Hill Rice Association. They wanted to get into a more productive farming system and look at better practices to enable production and get into the markets and setting up basically. And being part of the Quality Assurance Department, it was really a, a fine opportunity. It was really nice to meeting Mark and coming out here in Vista Dorado and his mindset alone and having all his different which is contacts all over the world. It, it was great to meet somebody that's progressive. So we were able to work with Mark and Cassie as 
as they got into more hillside rice farming. In Trinidad, the state of uh, farming or, or say agricultural production was not up to par because we're looking at quality of produce, the level of production, food safety, and we were able to work with Mark and he brought us to the association and we started to do some outreach to inform them about the different measures that they could take in preventing uh, contamination from water, water contamination, and then looking at pesticide residues and pushing a different types of farming, whether it's crop rotation, contour farming, to deal with the, the land itself and how it lay and the, the quality of the soil and raising his production in a sustained manner. I use the science and we have put together the science and the application of technology and adapted it to our specific situation. And we've been teaching others, once they're willing to learn, that there are new methods to deal with the old problems. And that is what has made me different, bringing new solutions to the old challenges. So along the way, I met some other friends, people from University of Trinidad and Tobago, who had been studying different parts of the problem, not because of my problem, but because it's a national problem. They've been looking at how do we feed ourselves, how do we feed our poultry, how do we ensure that the quality of what we eat is high. And as I got into it and met all these people, I realized they were working in silos. Everybody was doing just in their area, not realizing that there's an overlap. The farmer has to know what the theoretician, what the veterinarian, what the administrator is doing because it's a network. And the network has to feed back on each other. It's not just the farmer talking up or the extension officer talking down. The network has to exchange ideas, exchange information. That's how we all get better. That's how we all become agents of change. So this afternoon, guys, we have our whole meal, fully organic. We have the Maruga Hill rice, we have yams, and then the chicken and the guinea bird were raised on Maruga Hill rice and warao corn. So the entire meal is organic and all natural and cooked over a fireside for that special effect. 